Hi folks, in uh, this video I'm going to show how to install uh, MongoDB <coughs> through Docker and uh, then use Mongoose to uh, connect different collections in uh, MongoDB. I didn't find any good video about this issue so I decided to make one. Uh, we often hear that uh, document databases like MongoDB are not uh, relational databases, uh, but the database is just a collection of data and what makes it relational is then the query language that you use. Um, like in SQL Server and MySQL, you use SQL, the structured query language, to connect uh, tables and make uh, make queries into the database. And in our world, we will use uh, Mongoose to uh, on top of uh, MongoDB as our query language. So, uh, how do I install MongoDB on my machine? You uh, can find good documentation on Mongo db.com how to install it on different operating systems uh, I use uh, docker to install it on my machine because it doesn't affect uh, the setup of my machine and I can have uh, many different instances uh, running at the same time on different ports um, how do I do that I create a docker compose file that uh, gets the latest image uh, of Mongo and saves the data in the local directory and then exposes a port and in this case I, I use the default port so I just do docker compose up and detest so uh, then I have a docker running on my Mac and you can see that it is running here in this container so uh, let's get started I'm not going to go into any details about uh, Mongoose or MongoDB. There are many good uh, videos and uh, documentation about these tools. So I'm just going to go into uh, my uh, repos folder and into Node.js. And then I'm going to make a directory Mongoose uh, relation and go into that and start up uh, Visual Studio Code. So we start with empty folder uh, with nothing in it so we will use npm in it to create our package JSON file uh, and uh, then we will add our dependencies. Uh, I prefer to use yarn. Uh, we will use express uh, mongoose as the primary dependencies and then we will add um, uh, node mon to our uh, dev dependency. So uh, here we can see that we have our dependencies and we can start by changing the start script to uh, node mon um, and then we will just create app.js file. Um, <coughs> Uh, do it like this um, and we can say console uh, log um, hello uh, and see if our uh, yarn start works and it says hello and keeps on uh, working like we expected so we will <coughs> start by um, importing mongoose into our app JS, we will um, then uh, take out model and schema from uh, Mongoose. That's what uh, we will be using to create our schema and models. Um, we will connect to the database uh, via Mongoose uh, by uh, issuing this statement connect and to our local host that we saw. And we will just call it uh, relation, something like that. So <coughs> Now we can uh, start making our schema. We can uh, start by creating a department uh, schema which uh, will equal new schema. And the object that define our schema is like this. We will have name of the department and we will have location of the department. After we create the schema, we can create our uh, model. So we can say department uh, equals model, and the name uh, that will be exist in the Mongo 
database so we will call it department with the lowercase letters and then department uh, schema is our schema so let's um, <coughs> create our uh, express app uh, by doing like so we will require in express that we will be using that returns a function and then to call the function like this we have our app we will only be listening to uh, the root of our uh, application because it's, it will only have uh, one uh, endpoint uh, what we get in is request and response so we'll just use arrow function to uh, open that up and we will uh, send the back JSON or just send uh, hello to test our application and we will uh, listen to uh, port uh, 3050 uh, and then uh, when it starts listening we will console uh, log uh, listen listening on uh, port 3050 uh, and we can uh, try this uh, here we see now it uh, writes out listening on port 3050 and we can try it out by going to local host 3050 at 40 here before okay and we get hello so let's uh, start uh, manipulating our database um, here we can um, await for uh, mongoose to uh, do a command into the database we will start by removing all departments if they exist and uh, we can put in query here but since we are going to remove all we just uh, leave an empty ob object here um, then we can uh, create two departments uh, like so it department in building a and uh, marketing department in building b we can then um, respond with an object that says um, as an example departments and we will just uh, find all uh, departments that are available and we should get our uh, two departments so let's uh, try that out no a white yeah we don't have uh, async as uh, for our function here so now it should work we can go here and refresh and we should get our two departments here good I'll just make this a little bit bigger so uh, now let's create our employee schema and model like so we have first name last name mobile and department and here is uh, where our connection comes into the picture. We have department which is defined as an object. Uh, the type of the object is object ID and the reference is department. So then uh, Mongoose knows that uh, when we refer to the department uh, property of our schema, it is going to uh, refer to uh, the department collection. So there now some uh, connection is happening. Uh, we can then uh, create uh, an employee so uh, I will just uh, copy it from my uh, example to save some time uh, I uh, start by removing all employees if they exist and create two employees uh, Victor and Mary and you see here is the tricky part um, the department is uh, one that I find with the statement find one it returns a one object not an array which find does and the name is ID department and the marketing department so um, here we can uh, write out our uh, employees by saying uh, await uh, employee find so we'll find all employees and we'll see how the uh, relation works so if I refresh this here now uh, maybe a little bit smaller we have uh, two employees and we see that the department is now connected on the automatically generated ID key so uh, for the ID department it ends in 17 like we see here and 18 with the marketing department 
But the main goal of this video is how do I uh, show the department that uh, belongs to employee. So that's the next uh, trick. So we will go here into our JSON and then I will return uh, employees uh, with uh, departments and then uh, we will just have to add one single statement to the find after we find employees we will say populate departments so mongoose takes care of populating the department with uh, with the required uh, or uh, the data that exists in a department so if i save it like this and i refresh here you can minimize this uh, here we have employee with departments and now we have our department we can also select which fields we want if we only want the name of a department we can also uh, uh, define it in the populated populate statement uh, so we can say we'll just want name uh, so if i refresh that uh, we get uh, only the name of the department but the id will always exist so this was simple but uh, how we go, do we go one uh, level deeper so if we have company schema with the name and address it has employees which is an array of all the employees that work for this company as always we uh, define type as object id and the reference is the employee collection so we can uh, create uh, one company here as an example so we'll just uh, scroll under the employees here and we will create uh, the big company and uh, we populate the employees just by finding all employees and mongoose takes care of uh, just uh, taking out the id of the response and uh, saving it in an array so here we can go and say uh, company we will say await um, company find so it will give us all the companies uh, with the employees so we will refresh it here and if we scroll down we get um, two employees uh, number nine and a which uh, should be the correct ids of uh, victor and mary uh, and uh, now we want to populate employees and uh, we also want to pop populate the department of employees that's that was the only um, part that i was uh, looking for when i started looking at how do i populate one level deeper so if we say here uh, company with employees that is simple uh, company find and uh, populate the uh, employee ease uh, and uh, you refresh that and scroll down we get our employees but you see we don't get our departments we also want that and that's the how it gets interesting so we'll go again into our code we will add here uh, company with employees and uh, departments and how do we go one level deeper uh, populate takes uh, different parameters it can take uh, the name of the uh, property that you want to populate or um, it can take an object with uh, with a little bit uh, more properties available so if I say with the path I want to go to the path employees and uh, which model do i want to use for this uh, property i want to use the uh, employee employee uh, model right <clears throat> so you see that's uh, uh, a little bit uh, more complex than we use here so we can uh, basically do it like this uh, we can add one uh, populate two we want to populate also the path uh, department department and there we want to uh, use the department model so uh, 
we have the, our employees. So this happens after the company has, after we have found all the documents that fulfill our query. We go about to populate the result and we populate the employees and within the employees we populate the department. So hopefully um, this should work. We have here uh, two braces on this one. Yeah, it looks right. So I'll save this. Uh, no, and respect token. Uh, let me see path. Uh, and here I have to specify a model, right? Fulfill. Uh, that criteria so if I refresh it now uh, we get our uh, employees and within our employees we get our department so that was the purpose of this video to show you basically how to do this this because we can then um, go as deep as we want and then uh, nobody can say that uh, MongoDB or uh, document databases uh, are not able to uh, do relation